music. I will lose all of this. What happens to like the employees? What happens to you know the people that I'm looking out for, family members? What happens to the people that I've looked up that that have looked up to me, that followed me on the journey? You guys that watch my videos. You know, what happens? You know, what's the next step? Do I go back and get a nine to five? Do I go, you know, do what I was doing before? Do I, I guess, go back to online coaching? What happens? Business definitely, you know, incorporates ups and downs. But, um, and sometimes, honestly, things can be going, things can be going great. Like, things can be going amazing. And I'll still have these thoughts. And I think that's just one of the natures of being a CEO. So excuse the messiness. <clears throat> I'm literally in the process of like donating my entire life away. So what I did this past weekend was I went through all my clothes, as you guys can see right here, and um, pretty much jumped it up into like the shit that I haven't touched or worn in like years. So I had, my closet, I mean, it still looks pretty full, but like these things were so full that all these wooden poles in here were literally about to break. So this weekend I probably got rid of probably 60% of my closet and it's all within these bags. These bags are probably like, like 30 pounds per minimum. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna donate some, donate a lot to overseas. Um, my fiance, she's a Filipino, so her family will definitely enjoy that, enjoy this. Um, and then I'm also gonna give some to Goodwill. And then my shoes, like if you guys really watch like the last like, I wanna see five to 10 vlogs, I don't wear any of these shoes, decoration at this point. It's decoration, it's more so of a collection. I don't think my sneaker collection is, is that crazy. I think a couple years ago it would've been super crazy, but I think I've kinda like stopped keeping up with the trend to where like, I don't know, I feel like the latest, coolest shoe that I have. So this is probably the, the coolest, most recent pair of kicks that I have. I fuck with these heavy too. I think I have almost every pair of Travis Scott's that I've ever dropped. Um, like I legitimately had like the Oilers ones, like the Fours, and I sold them. I have the Air Force Ones with the removable thing on them. So like when I look at shoes like this and I like hold them in my hand, I don't think I'll ever let go of this. This is like too, I don't think I'll let go of my Travis Scott's to be honest with you guys. Like those are too close to home. Over the next couple of days, I'm gonna donate the clothes. That was step number one. And step number two is donating the shoes. So we'll get to that in the next bit. Um, Power Club is a group on Instagram or a channel on Instagram that I've created. If you go to my profile, you can see it. It has about 2,000 members right now. And for this recent launch, the basics launch, I gave them early access for 10 minutes and they went absolutely nuts. Uh, there was probably like almost a thousand visitors on. So 50% of the power club was on early access at 10 p.m. at night for 10 minutes. And I kind of think that if I would have gave them like obviously a, a bigger heads up and like more time to prepare and not done it at 10 p.m., I probably would have had like 2,000 plus on the website at one time. So like Power Club stays true to me and I always try to give back. So one thing I did last week was, you know how I told you guys I was giving away a lot of my clothes? Um, a lot of like the exclusive pieces, like the Eric Manuel, Warren Lotus, like designer items, I kind of sheltered away and I, I felt like, you know, for the Power Club, I'm gonna like hold those items aside. I'm not gonna sell them. I'm just gonna give it back to the Power Club. So one person already won that. Today, we're gonna go drop that off. And then I have a bunch of other like exclusive items that I did. So I did a giveaway for the video that we posted last week. And I'm about to pick those giveaway winners right now. And then I did a giveaway for this Anaka post that we made. And 
they went crazy on that too. So yeah, and then I also did something cool over the weekend where I challenged everyone to run a mile Saturday before the game, the Texans game, which they lost, boohoo. Um, before the Texans game, I had a hundred plus people tag me running a fucking mile on a Saturday before the playoffs started. So that just goes to show you how one dialed the power club is and two, how, how fucking like down and like committed they are to like the gang. Like the gang, the, the, the gang early love is like strong. It's, it's, it's like this, it's like, it's, it's tight, it's tight. So my thing is I'm always gonna give back to these people. So this week we have Naka 5K Dow Run, Saturday, January 27th, Oso Coffee, Navigation Boulevard. Giveaways, look at that, bro. It doesn't get better than that, bro. It does not get better than that. So if you're in the Houston area and you're seeing this a day before the run, so the run is tomorrow. If you're seeing this, come out to Oso Coffee 2603 Navigation Boulevard and get a 5K in and win some cool shit. I hope you enjoy this gift. I thought I was gonna be able to drive the car in here, but I can't. So as you guys know, Russ recently got rid of Corruptor Strength. I have not seen the equipment look like this. It's usually like obviously set up beautifully at his gym. Um, so he moved in all his stuff into our gym, our warehouse for the time being until he figures out what to do next. I've been trying to tell him why not change this into Corruptor Strength 2.0? So if you're watching this video and you're at this point in the video, I need you guys to go spam Russ and tell him that we can change this vision to Corruptor Strength 2.0. Stickers, decals for the products that we're gonna be using. Obviously, when you're doing a photo shoot, you don't and you can't obviously like broadcast like Budweiser or Bud Light or anything like that. Kind of wanna keep that low key. About a year, over a year ago, almost two years ago, me and Ant, we came to this exact Dix and we bought shoes that I can't even, dis I can't disclose right now because that brand kind of fucking hold us. They hold us, they definitely hold us. But it's all good now, we're with ASICS. Sponsored ad. And it's funny enough, that moment coming here almost two years ago to buy running shoes, buy a Garmin 4145, for those of you guys who want to know what my, wa my running watch is, inspired and changed so many lives and got people into running and stuff like that. Two years later, we're doing a huge collaboration event with ASICS in Houston the whole bunch of people, and it's for Anaka and Asics, a huge brand. I think that's pretty cool, man. If that doesn't inspire you, then I don't know what can inspire you. At least to pick up a camera and start doing something. I've been doing it. 
it a lot more. For those of y'all who followed me throughout the whole marathon series, who remembers that? That was probably like the best Charlie Coker fitness series of all time. This is the apartment, or not the apartment, the townhome that I ran it out of. Myla's shit shithole was there. The person who lives here now is not taking good care of it. I had my Range Rover right there. I know you guys remember that. And then the Anaka, to think about it, we're in a 20,000 square feet warehouse now. Anaka ultimately started in this downstairs lobby, or this downstairs like computer room. So there was a computer room, probably about like 60 square feet. I don't know if that's even correct, but it was tiny as fuck. I had racks <coughs> that I got from Office Depot and I uh, lined up probably about like seven or eight racks in there from Office Depot. And I stocked it up with nothing but knee sleeves and belts. Belts you could lay like flat. Knee sleeves were pretty flat as it, you know, as it became. But that was when we were only selling belts and knee sleeves. My business partner, Sam, would literally come over every day after work and help me package. We had our first belt launch in this apartment or this townhome, sorry. It was a three-story townhome. And we sold out of like 200 belts in like five minutes. That was like 2019. Pretty crazy times. My main goal is to like really have the team like in one place, one sitting. And uh, this was a good, this was good for us at the time that it was needed, but we've actually, I don't wanna say we've leaned out our team because we've actually, I guess you could say replaced a lot of people, but we've replaced a lot of people and we've learned and figured that everyone works better when they're together. That rhyme, that sounded cheesy, but like, seriously, everyone works better when they're together. Like the setup and the environment, the joint desk, <clears throat> everyone being in one spot at the warehouse, it just works a lot better. We work better, a lot of shit gets done faster. You know, we're able to kind of just hold each other accountable. We're just a better, well-oiled machine when we're over there. When this was a thing and that was a thing, there was so much disconnection and, you know, miscommunication that happened. This just didn't really, help us, I guess you could say, it didn't really help us grow, honestly. Um, I think the cool thing that we'll keep here is the Alpha Land and Naka retail store. That's been doing really well. Um, as, 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 as long as we continue to pump into it, the better it'll do. Um, and obviously this place gets a lot of traffic, so it makes sense to keep that. But for office use, like, it just didn't make sense, guys. It didn't make sense. I think when I post this video, a lot of people are gonna think that like, there's like this like ultimate beef that's between, you know, Christian and I, or there's like some sort of broken relationship. Um, I will admit, you know, we don't hang out as much. We don't hang out as much as we used to. I honestly don't feel like all of us, I feel like all of us don't hang out as much as we used to. One, we're all like engaged. Two, you know, we all have like multi-million dollar businesses that require a lot of attention. Um, three, I mean, technically, we have our own lives. Like, to be completely honest with you guys, like, when I'm done with work, like, when I wrap up this video, bro, like, the first thing I want to do and the only thing I want to do is go home, take a hot-ass shower, and just, like, lay in bed. Like, I legitimately go to bed at, like, 7 p.m. What made me want to tap into being closer to my employees and just kind of being by them step by step, you know, as much as I possibly can, being in touch with every single department, you know, being in tune and understanding and knowing what's going on at all times of the day, I feel like that can only happen when I'm over there. 
and I think I get a lot of I question myself, and I also question I get questions from people, you know, regarding like what happens if you weren't if you weren't doing a naka, what would you be doing? Or if a naka stopped today, what would you be doing? I don't think I think my purpose honestly is a naka. I think my purpose is a naka power. I think I was put on this earth to do exactly what I've been doing. I think God's been blessing me. There's been a lot of lessons, a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations, a lot of people I've had to cut off. A lot of people I've had to say bye to, even the closest people. I think that's just all a part of the journey. I will say that one thing that I'm learning across, one thing that I'm doing throughout this whole process is learning a lot. I'm learning and I'm improving. I think if you watched the video from 10 years ago to now, I'm a completely different person, changed who I am, I've been through a lot of like mental stress, physical stress, emotional stress, relationships, all that stuff. I think it's all made me who I am. Um, I believe in my brand, I believe in Anaka Power, and most importantly, I believe in the people that help me, that continue to help me accomplish this goal. And uh, to answer the question, you know, you know, what happens like when this is all over, if, this, if, if your company like runs out or whatever, I don't even, I don't, I don't view that as an option. I think I'm responsible for a lot of people's livelihoods and I, I refuse to like let that just kind of simmer away. I think that like I need to, I know that I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that we're here for a very long time, a lifetime at that.